So a number of you have asked, how do I make my YouTube thumbnails? And I'm going to show you here in Canvas how I did one and how I used AI to create all the imagery. So first thing, I'm going to grab an AI image that I created in Flux using a train Lord. You can see I brought that in here into my template. And that's great. But now what I need to do is I need to resize it and I need to make it expand the whole background. What I really want is an image well, you're going to see in a minute, we're going to expand this image to cover this whole background. So what's that's going to look like? Let's take a look here. So first thing, I'm going to go ahead and size it. There we go. And you can see that's great, but it still looks kind of funky with the text. And obviously the picture doesn't go all the way around the background. So what are we going to do to fix that? Well, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to actually go ahead into the image and we're going to have AI go ahead and expand on this. We're going to go click on our edit button here in Canva. I'm going to scroll over and we're going to select the magic expand and choose the whole page. Now we're going to hit click expand and you're going to see it think here a minute. What Canva is going to do is it's going to analyze that image and it's going to analyze the image, what might fill it in. And it's going to give us four suggestions. You can see that it's going to be coming up here as it goes through. So there we go. We've got our four our one suggestion. Not real good at this point. Let's see what else we end up with. So we've got that suggestion. Obviously, we don't like that one. Uh, let's see, that's not going to be really good. I don't know where in the world they came up with cars and all that. Uh, this one's pretty good, except for obviously the guy in there. And kind of same on this one. So let's go back to this one. We're going to select this one, and I'll show you why in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and take that one, and it's going to throw that in there. Now we're going to say, okay, what are we going to do? Because we've got this image here, and I need to do something with it. Well, we're going to go back into Edit again. And now I'm going to pick Magic Eraser. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to erase this, well, whatever this guy is here, because it's definitely not me. So we're just going to go in here and we're going to highlight all over top of him. The good news is, is this should be a relatively easy one to fix in the background. So I want to make sure I've got that all highlighted. And then we're going to say erase. And it's going to go ahead and analyze the picture. Did a pretty good job. We've got this little artifact here. Let's go ahead and click on that and erase. And I've still got a little problem with the water and all that, but I'm not too worried about it. We're going to go ahead and actually just try to get rid of that here in the water or in the sand. Make it a little bit less obvious. There we go. That's better. Now, is it perfect? No, but it's good enough. And what's going to happen here is when I go ahead and I exit out of Magic D Eraser, now I can go ahead and move this image back to a different layer. I'm going to look at all my layers here. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this one down to that layer. I can get rid of a couple of these here that I don't need by some past colors from other templates. And now, all of a sudden, I'm getting closer to what I want. Notice when I pull the words in there, it's really hard to see that that surf line got messed up. And this overall works pretty good. I'm going to go in here. We're going to take a quick look at edit and see if we can adjust it to make it look any better. Let's try auto adjust. I don't know if I like that better, but I want to bring the shadows up, I think, on my face. Let's see here. I think I like that. That's not too bad. A little bit warmer than I might want. Uh, let's see here. We can probably drop the vibrance down just a little bit. And I think we're going to be close enough. Now I've got something that's workable. By the way, these are different text layers. So you can see I've got AI in the background. That's a little bit probably lighter than I want. Let's bump that up here. There we go. I like that better. Well, we still want it to be in the background. And then I need to do something on this text to make sure that it pops out. So I'm going to highlight this. I've already got it in there and matched it. Let's go into effects here. Instead of doing the lift, let's try an outline. And okay, let's see if we can outline it with something that will really make it pop. I've got some black in my shirt. So what would happen if we did that? Let's maybe try a graphite or something a little bit less. I think that might be a little better. Let's take a look. Almost looks brown, but you know what? I think I like that. So there we go. Just like that, I've been able to take my first image, expand that background, clean that up, throw my text over top, and now I think I've got a really cool thumbnail. I'd love to get your thoughts. What do you think of this? What do you like this attitude? You can see I've got lots of them in here. I keep lots of my thumbnails here, and I just go in and I find one, and then I make changes to it and go from there. But in this case, you know, we started right here. So, you know, that's what I actually started with. I duplicated that, and we ended up with this by the time we're done. I'd love your feedback down below. Let me know what questions, thoughts, comments you have and uh, would welcome your feedback. Thanks.